Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're not going to rig a specific mesh, but we're going to take a look at several meta rigs and see how UEFI 2's new features can help us get those rigs into Unreal Engine or into any game engine really, with an optimized and efficient bone hierarchy. Let's do Shift A, go to Armature, Animals. Let's bring in a horse meta rig. Because of the unit scale, it comes in small. I'll do S to scale, type in 100. And then in items, uh, in the transform panel, just want to make sure that the scale value is 111. So I'll do control A and apply all transforms. Now we can go to the armature data properties and just click on generate rig and rigify will make us a rig over here. So let's just check this out. We'll hide the meta rig. Let's go to pose mode and see what we have. Uh, this is a fairly complicated rig. There are all kinds of controls here. Controls for for the torso, the tail, IK and FK controls for the limbs. There are controls for the main. It's a really complicated rig here. But the problem is that once you export this to the engine, it exports a lot of unnecessary bones that are not needed. And the hierarchy is not really very good for a game engine. We can fix that. So let's just scroll down here, click on refresh list. We're not interested in the character or Unreal Engine mannequin armatures. They're not involved in this process. We just have to make sure that the meta rig and rig objects are pointing correctly. Uh, we also want to make sure that the meta rig is visible here as is the rig generated by Rigify. And now we can scroll down here. We're not interested in any of this. We go straight to pre-process operators. Click on this once. We set the mode to freeform. Click on build skeleton and then just give it a minute. And that is it. We can go back up here, turn off the meta rig, turn off the deform layer for rigify and turn on this layer that has the deform bones that were added by UEFI. Now, when we add a mesh to this armature and we have finalized it, when we export it to the engine, we'll get a highly optimized and efficient bone hierarchy that has no extra bones in it, the lowest possible number. And it's very efficient and that's important because of optimization reasons and also because on some platforms there are limits. We can make any kind of modification to this armature. So let's say we wanted to give this horse some wings. Uh, we can go to object mode, bring in the meta rig and hide the armature, then click on it go to orthographic view, edit mode, and deselect the bones. Now we can go over here and add a limbs, super limb sample, like limbs, super limb. Uh, the supported sample list is on the website, links in the description. Add sample, and because of the unit scale, it comes in small, so we will go over there, set the pivot point to median point. This is important because you have to scale this, otherwise it won't work. Then S to scale, type in 100, and there's our super limb. Now we want to rotate this, lock it on the x-axis, and then just kind of turn it around like that. Then we can grab it, lock it on the z-axis, bring it up here, grab it, lock it on the x-axis, and about over there. And this will serve as our wing. And our wing should be bigger. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Now there are some rules and conventions to follow when adding samples to a meta rig. So if you add a, a super name, uh, let's, I'm going to select this bone and press F2 to rename it. Now super limb bones have to be unique names. Okay, you can't have another name, another bone of the same name here. And also, there cannot be a number at the end. Okay, so I'm going to take out the number, I'm going to take out the dot, and I'm going to make this name unique, like so. Okay, so take out the number, make name unique by adding another prefix, and then same thing again, no numbers at the end, and add a prefix to make this name unique. Okay, now the base of the sample is special in, in that it has some configurations that apply to the entire sample. 
I'm going to go to bone properties and we have to set the parent here. So I'm just going to pick one of these bones. Uh, this one seems appropriate. It'll be spine.009. So select the bone again, and then in parent type in spine.009 or just pick it from this list. And that is one of those rules and conventions we have to follow. No sample in our meta rigs can be without a parent. All right, so every everything has to be connected to everything else because we're sending it to a game engine and there can only be one root. So I'm going to select all of these bones, click on this one, then shift that one, and then that one. Uh, right click, symmetrize, and that'll build the other side and these bones will have proper names and they'll be attached to the, uh, to the armature correctly because we got it right on this side. Then we can go to object mode, turn on the armature that was built previously while we are still while we still have the meta rig selected we can go to the armature data properties and click on generate rig and that'll build us our our armature with with the new additions on it and then we can scroll down here every time you add or remove samples from the meta rig you have to click on pre-process and then just do build skeleton one more time and then give it a minute so let's scroll back up here uh, let's turn off the meta rig and uh, see what these new bones look like. So you see we have full IK and FK controls, separate chains, and we have a pole vector and all of all of the options that uh, come with Rigify. But as wings go, these seem rather small for this this creature. So let's make them a little bigger. Okay. So back to object mode. Turn on the meta rig and let's turn this off again. Uh, select the meta rig, edit. Now I'm going to, well, let's, let's see if we can just scale them. We can scale them. No. Let's go to active element or the median point. Let's scale the active element. Yeah, that's more like it, right? And then right click, symmetrize, and there we go, we have proper wings now. Okay, so back to object mode, generate rig again. No, uh, cancel that, you'll see if I, if I had the, since I had the rig hidden, I got this weird error kind of thing, so undo that. Unhide the armature, and then do generate rig. And that's it and you can again go down here we didn't make any additions to the meta rig we only modified these locations so we don't necessarily have to do a pre-process but i'm going to click this anyway and then we can do a build skeleton and then just give it a minute now we can turn on the meta rig go back up here and click on this and you'll see that our wings have been adjusted and they are they look much better now so you can rotate these and all of the twist bones and everything else should also be working so let's do this one more time yet again because there are some more rules we have to observe okay so this time i will do shift a armature animals let's bring in a cat meta rig and again because of the unit scale it'll be small so s to scale Type in 100 and it's, cats are small, so we have to zoom in a little. Go to item, transform, scale needs to be 111. Do control A, all transforms, apply all transforms to get this correct. And now we can go to the armature data properties. Now, same as before, we can just do generate rig and then just give it a minute. So we scroll back down to the UEFI script panel, click on refresh list, make sure these two values are correct. And then back to the pre-process operators and click on this. And now we have an error, not just any error, a red warning error. And that brings us to our next rule. Every sample added to the meta rig has to be in order. Uh, so let's say you have a root, you'll then attach a spine to the armature and then you'll attach legs and uh, parent them to the to the spine. But you can't do it the other way. You can't add legs first to the armature and then decide you want to add a spine and then parent the 
the legs to that spine because then you get this kind of error. So it has to be made in order. But if you already have a meta rig that was made with this kind of setup, uh, there is a way to fix it. Well, we'll just scroll down here to uh, the pre-process operators and click on verify. And that'll tell you what you need to do. So it's saying that the palm 0.004 on the left side has to be added before before the the pinky finger on the left side. So we go to scripting. Uh, we'll do this uh, drop down, and if you run the preprocess one time, you'll get this file over there. And then we just have to find where the palm is. Okay, so we're we're only concerned with this column here. Okay, we're going to look at this column, and we're going to ignore this column. And these are blocks. Okay, so one blocks starts over here and it ends over there and then this is the next block and we don't really care so much about the blocks right now we're really only concerned with this column so we're going to find where this palm is okay so let's just scroll down here and there it is okay that's where the palm is so we need to move this block I'll just do control X to copy it. And then I'll do backspace to get rid of this space. And we're going to move it above this thing. Okay. So I'll, I'll watch out for the comma here, Put the cursor over there, space, uh, new line I meant, and then backspace and then control V to paste it. And that should fix it. Okay. So back to layout and then verify. And then we get another error. Okay, but do note that it's not the same error. This is saying that the palm on the right side has to be for the pinky on the right side. So we fixed the left side here, okay? So just find the right side. There's the palm block. Uh, control X, backspace once, to be mindful of the comma. And then it has to be before the pinky is defined backspace control v and then back over here verify pre-process success now you don't want to click on pre-process again because it'll overwrite this file and well that's uh that's a problem but you can this is just a text file so you can make a copy of this or you can just re rename it and save it someplace uh, so if in case it gets overwritten you you don't lose anything so back here, because our pre-process is now working, we can simply do uh, select the freeform mode and then do build skeleton and then give it a minute to finish. And that is it, it's fixed. So it's uh, working just as it was in the, in the horse. So we have uh, the deform chain for the main body and this second layer is for the facial rig. So this cat has a facial rig if with uh, full control so I can move this open his uh, his mouth and we can control his eyes as well right so there are a lot of controls over here um, if you go to scripting just in case you need to find a particular bone there's also a find here so you just have to go to the top here make sure the cursor is at the top and then you could type in the name of the bone and do fine and it'll tell you where it is uh, there, it might be repeated a couple of times. It might be in the second column sometimes, but we need it to be in the first column and that's what you're looking for. So, uh, but the better way is just to fix your meta rig. So we could find the same palm thing here, or we could find the pinky finger and then delete it and then re-add it. And that'll also fix it. And we don't have to mess around with, with the scripting anymore, but, uh, this way works too. And that's all for this video. Please hit the like button. If you find UEFI helpful, consider telling other developers about it. We'll do more videos on this uh, freeform mode with actual meshes and we'll see how that goes. So do hit the subscribe button as well. So you're updated whenever the new content shows up.